Hello YouTube, Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt here. And I'm bringing us another review. And this is another video I picked up at Walmart. So you're probably wondering which one I'll be going over today. Well today's review, we're going over the Playmates Toys, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. You're going over Giant Kong with Beast Glove. Yeah, we now, after this review, we're going to check out my review on the 6 inch Kong with Beast Glove figure. You can go watch that if you guys get the chance to. Alright, now on to this guy's details. Take a close look at Monkey detail. Starting with the face here. So, as you can see on here on the face, it's got some wrinkling for his eyebrows. It's got wrinkling for the eyebrows here, you can see that. As you can see right here, we got wrinkling for the eyebrows. You can see the nostrils. You can see the wrinkling detail on his face. And this guy has beard. You can see his beard there. You can see the nostrils, the eyes. He's got some wrinkling around the eyes. You guys can see that there. You see, look like a lot like here. You can see some wrinkling on his eyes. Got a really good shot of Kong right there. We got like. A first face shot of Kong, that would be a nice shot of him. Right there with the angry look on his face. Nostrils, that's the point earlier, you can see the nostrils. You can see some wrinkling on the nostrils and wrinkling on the face. Now you can see his teeth, you can see his teeth. You can see the nice little sculpted, not just one line. You can see the sculpted very well on the inside of the mouth. And you can see the easy detail on the roof of the mouth. And the tongue, you see tongue in there. And even around his beard. Which I can't his salt and pepper beard that Kong had in the movie. Now moving to his arm. As you can see his arms got some nice fur details. You can see the fur pattern etched in right here on his arm. Yeah, this this figure has got some nicely well done details. So you can see that all the way down at the arm. You even got more, more for a detail going on down the arm here. His hands, you can see what's fur is in with the bare fingers. You can see some wrinkling on the fingers. Not so much on the fingertips, but you got inside the hands, you can see that there. That's a nice one on sculpted details. Then moving to the other arm, you can see a little bit of fur detail on his other arm here. And it goes into the beast glove. The beast glove, they manage to capture very well. You can see the beast glove starts here, you can see a lot of panel lines, a lot of the mechanical details there. And you can see that there. As you can see right here on his arm, this was present on the 6 inch scale. Feet, it's VT 61, H242. The beast glove itself has got some nicely well done details. Like this here, you can see all the panel lines. You can see all the panel lines on the beast glove. More than more than that, like mechanical pan panel lines here. More panel lines on the on down the, the hands. And on the front of the fist here, you can see some panel lines with some mechanical details for Kong's Beast Glove, which he did use against Scar King in the movie. As you can see, we got more panel lining right here on his arm, on his arm, on the other side of the Beast Glove. You see nice panel lining. This is a little bit of fur detail in there. Then on the bottom of the glove, you can see more mechanical details right here. So that's what Kong gets the beast glove in. Now moving to his chest and his stomach. Now moving to his chest and his stomach here, you can see the scarring right here. This is from his previous battle with Godzilla. You can see that there. Then you can see him got scarring on his chest. He's even got a six pack at the end of it. So the stomach has a nice, well done muscular details. As you can see, he got the end of it. Kong showing off his six pack. See more further details on the side here. You can see more further details on the side of the figure. You can have some further details etched in there. Move to his legs. He got some nice, more further detail on his legs. You can see on both sides we have more fur detail on his legs, fur on the inner part of the legs. 
and his feet. His feet got some nicely well done details. You can see some wrinkling right here on his feet. See a nice wrinkling detail on his feet. Nice well done on his feet. So he got nice feet details. See on the fur and the bare toes. On his feet. And on the underside of his feet, you see. As you can see, there's no way straight through under his feet, it's just hollow under his feet. So what about next, he's hollow under his feet, which is kind of strange. Now moving to the back. As you see the back of the head, it has a nice little down details. There's the ears etched in on the side of his head. So you see that there, we got the ears. There's also, you see further detail on the back of his legs here. On the, on the back of his legs, the back of his head. My apologies. See me that fur detail etched in right there. There's even more fur details inside for the screw holes. You don't know why they didn't bother to plug them up. And you better stick them all down. Look at the nice fur details. You see me that nice fur detail. Like his playmates etched in. One of the fur details on his figure. I think it was present on the six inch on the six inch scale figure. You guys can, can, can go watch that video after this. You'll see every nice fur details. All the way down to a King Kong, to a Kong booty of his, with some fur detail there. There's also fur detail on the back of his legs. Look at the placement is captured on, on, on the ankles as well. There's a place with a nice job sculpting this figure. Now, for paint job, as you can see here for the eyes, as you can see him with the orange or black pimples and a little bit of gray on his face. The teeth are pale like a dirty bone white. The mouth is painted pink. And that's for the beast glove. And you can see the beast glove itself is painted yellow. So you can see that there is got yellow for the beast glove. And you got gray parts. When Kong gets the beast glove, we got silver paint here, yellow paint on the main part here. And the rest of the video is painted gray with some, got some gray parts. But then I can't even just get the, the scar and come back on Kong. As you can see that there. The rest of the figure just cast out of a black vinyl. Cast out of a black plastic. As you can see it all, all over this figure here. Yeah, that's really nice. His toes are gray. And his hands and his bare fingers are gray. Now. Now. When I went to Walmart. Last month, you had this guy in the big Judah toys for you if you guys want to see that review. They wanted to get all the giant scale figures, but my Walmart didn't have the other two. They just had the Kong Hero. I still, still gotta get the giant Godzilla Evolved and the giant Sky King. There's also the giant Shimu making its way around the different Walmart stores. I do want to get the giant Shimu, but sadly it's out on the West Coast, so hopefully. It made its way here to the East Coast side with the second set of figures. And also Playmates announced that they're doing a they're doing a Titan size figure of Kong and Godzilla Evolved. Now, and, I, and I saw a video on it yesterday, which that that, that Titan got that Titan Kong is gonna be a lot bigger than this one. This one's eleven inches tall. I think the, the, the Titan one that's coming out is gonna be about fourteen inches tall. Yeah, so yeah, so I'll try to get that figure if I can. But I still gotta get the rest of the first side of Godzilla X Kong figures. Now, now you're probably wondering, now you're probably wondering how much points of articulation this figure has. Well, it's got articulation here on the head. See, but, see I didn't notice with this figure, this figure can slightly look up. Well, you can't look down, but you can slightly look up. And of course, the head can move back and forth. But you can get him to look to his left and look to his right a little bit. So I noticed when I got this video, he can slightly look up, but he can't look down, but he can slightly look to his left and look to his right. And so his head's on the joint here so it can swivel. He's got all the articulation, they can rotate the full 360. He's on a hinge joint, so he can go up and down like so. He's even got a bend here on the arms. It's kind of stiff, but they can also swivel. It's even got wrist articulation. It's even got another hinge point here. 
You can rotate 4 through 60. The beast glove one can rotate 4 through 60. You can go in and out. It's also a bend here in the other elbow. It can't swivel like the like the left one can, but it can move. It's also no hand articulation on this side. And he's got bend here, bend here on the legs. You can also swivel a bend here on the knees. He's got it on both sides of his leg here. Yeah, so this video's got a good amount of articulation. We just we straighten him out here. Sometimes you have to fall over if we don't have him standing straight. Yeah, this video's got nice articulation. Yeah, so this video's got a good amount of points of articulation. Just like turn his head up, and there we go. Alright. Now we're going to see how well he stacks up next to other 12-inch scale figures. So here he is next to the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Giant Kong. So as you guys can see, these two oh, have different paint jobs, but the... Uh, yeah, but, uh, but they don't look the same at all. This one's full-on black. This has got a little bit of highlights on it. Yeah, so... Since you're a Giant Kong with Beast Gloves, because I perfectly look the other... 12 inch scale figures. He's not too big, he's not too small, he's just right. So this is what he looks like next to Giant Kong. Here he is next to the Giant Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. As you guys can see, he looks really good next to a Giant Godzilla figure from GVK. Yeah, so he just goes up perfectly with any figures. He looks like he's a little bit taller than Kong, yeah, but he's in the correct scale. With your new Godzilla X Kong Kong with Beast Glove figure. Here he is next to the giant Mecha Godzilla. So you guys can see, he too scales up perfectly with giant Mecha Godzilla. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're going with a good scale of your other 12 inch scale figures you guys have in your collection. So he looks good next to giant Mecha Godzilla. Here he is next to the Bandai America Final Wars Godzilla. So you guys can see, he doesn't go on that great scale with the, with the Bandai America figures. You can see, Godzilla 2004 is a little under scale here. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so your Kong with, giant Kong with Beast Club is, is under scale with Godzilla Final Wars here. And here he is next to the Bandai America Mecha Godzilla. So you guys can see, the Bandai America Mecha Godzilla dwarfs Kong, giant Kong with Beast Club here. So you guys can see, the 12 inch scale Mecha Godzilla figure doesn't go on that great scale for Bandai America Final Wars Mecha Godzilla. And here is the box for Giant Kong. It says Monsterverse, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, Godzilla and Kong, Giant Kong with Beast Glove, other side same thing. Other side same thing as well. You know, on the bottom of the box is like a mumble jumbo and the figures you can get. Yeah, still gotta find the giant Godzilla Evolved and the giant Sky King. Still gotta look for those two. And on the back, we got a nice picture of Kong with the Beast Glove. My final thoughts on this figure this figure is really well detailed. He's got nice points of articulation. He scales up with your GVK 12 inch skill figures, but he doesn't scale up that. Well, if you're Bandai America figures, yes, yes, yes. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this figure, what you dislike about this figure. Yes, yeah, so anyways, guys, this was Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt signing off.